Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. My name is Euripides McGuire. And you're watching Tweet Talk. So today we have a very special guest here. Uh, Xavier McIves is joining us. Uh, how are you doing today, Xavier? I'm, I'm great. I'm so happy that you have me on the show after all these years you've been doing it. Oh, of course. It's a great privilege. Of course. You know, we've been trying to, we've been trying to get him on for a while now, so it's, it's truly an honor, honor to be here with you. Um, so... Well, I think it's an honor for me to be here, too. Well, I know, but it, it's likewise an honor for everyone at Tub Talk to, to be here with you. Um, so, uh, Xavier is, a uh, a filmmaker, a musician, an entrepreneur, and a world-class urine alkalizer. Um, and so today we're going to talk a little bit about the upcoming film that Xavier's been working on and a little bit about their artistic journey. So, Xavier, the first question I'm dying to know is, who is your favorite member of the 1950s all-female doo-wop sensation, The Lazy Susans? Oh, Rimbo Sweeney. Oh, so absolutely. Without, without question. You know, I, I, I love, you know, the really innovative stuff she did with, uh, with high heels, and especially for, you know, the time period that it was in, you know, McCarthyism and all that. And, uh, you know, I was, I was really heartbroken when I, when I learned that she, uh, passed away on the, the first roller coaster. I think we all were, I think we all were. And, you know, I, I've, been thinking that, that Rainbow Sweeney is kind of like the Ringo of of the group, you know, kind of in the shadows, but like having this this art, artistic genius that didn't really get get a chance to shine through. Yeah, I can understand that. Right. I mean, I guess the difference is like I never, you know, I would never have sex with Ringo Starr. <laughs> Rainbow Sweeney, on the other hand. <laughs> Next question. Amazing. Amazing. So... So tell us a little bit about uh, your upcoming film. Oh yeah, so it's, a, um, it's an homage to uh, my love for uh, Roman Polanski. Can we get a round of applause, please? So, uh, it's... Uh, Working title right now is called uh, uh, Flying Lobster Kissing Sunflower. And um, really it's just a, it's just a lot of uh, it's a vile horror, really vile work of uh, horror. And, uh, you know, it, it really uh, calls back to some of the work of the American classics such as uh, Alfred Hitchcock and, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, <sighs> what's the guy's name? Woody Allen. Yeah, Woody Allen. Yeah. So, you know, uh, and, um, what's it about? What's the synopsis of the film? Uh, well, it's just about these, uh, clowns that go to a strip club, you know, out in a secluded, uh, mountain resort and um and from there it, it, you know it, um i guess you'll have to wait and see now i i understand i mean and we love we all love suspense here at tub talk um what uh i i, I can't help but wonder if there's some sort of connection to the red scare that's that's currently um that's that's going on like a, the, a, a reboot of the Red Scare. Does that have any? Because I remember us talking before, and you you said that there were some um, kind of hostile anti-fascist themes in the film. Can you speak a little bit more about about that? Um. Yeah, well, um. Yeah, you know, um. It. Uh, I was. I mean, I wouldn't use so harsh a word as as uh, blackmailed into making the film uh, by Antifa. Um, 
but that's that's just kind of how it feels, you know, as a, as a creator, and you know, you know, you get told, oh, you're not gonna, you know, you're never gonna work a day again, mm. you're never gonna make a film again if you don't, if you don't, you know, uh, uh, make this Dada work of art with with our, you know, message uh, that's you know anti fascism and anti Mussolini and. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I would say that I had a bit of a red scare myself, you know, um, like making it. I was afraid that, uh, you know, well, what's going to happen if I don't, you know, film this the right way? Am I going to get put in a communist concentration camp in, in the, the USSR? You know, there's a lot, but, um, but, you know, um. When when the whole thing was done filming, uh, you know, I was I was really happy with the result. So you know, good art is good art. A- Amen. And and later we'll be showing a, a clip of flying lobster kissing sunflowers. So so stick around. Um... <laughs> so I I know that you have had experiences um, being possessed by invocating certain esoteric feminine entities in the past. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about that and like how that, how that relates to the, the political strata of today? Well, you know, um, it's, it, uh, it's a very uh, a personal uh, kind of private question, maybe even a little bit inappropriate, but I'll, I'll answer it, you know, for the sake of art. Uh, uh, so back when I was uh, in college, uh, going attending film school, uh, I this film called uh, Invocation of a Flapper Goddess, and it was about uh, this evil demon flapper uh, who had possessed a man, and you know had an entire cult following her, and um, and uh, you know I thought it was just a a, a great uh, artistic idea, you know, at the time, and. And it was my first foray into filmmaking. And, uh, you know, over the years, as I've, you know, grown as a person, I've gone through, you know, uh, incredible suffering and, um, you know, and incredible beauty. Um, I just think that theme has kind of repeated itself over and over again. And I've seen where a lot of my suffering in life is, you know, is caused by... uh, uh, the, 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 the patriarchy, you know, and, um, and so, you know, sometimes the pressures of being a male and, um, you know, sort of living up to masculine standards, uh, puts me in a position where I feel, uh, a sort of yearning to be, uh, to be a woman and sometimes and many times that has allowed uh, this other feminine presence to kind of um, move in you know for better and often for worse as well um, but um, yeah as uh, I, th- I think that we we have a lot of work to do as uh, uh, a society to like really reintegrate the feminine um, perfection and, 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 uh, integrated as, as, you know, uh, an essential part of the, the human experience, uh, and as something that frankly should have a lot more say in our, in the way we govern ourselves, you know? That's, that's incredible. I, for one, feel the same way. Um, you know, I, I think that there's there's way too much uh, kind of male dominated energy in our, our political strata in our world even, and I think that's kind of why, you know, mm. why we're making tub talk today. Yeah, um, it's a it's a good it's a good uh, uh, humanitarian effort you know you're you're working on here. I really commend you for it. Thank you, thank you. Um, that means a lot. It means a lot. Um, so what are you working on now or what do you what do you see your projects being in the future once this film is released you know uh uh i've been taking a break um you know i I, i've been writing this sci-fi project uh based on the works of uh, the scientist uh, john c Lilly uh for a while now um but you know lately i've just been more concerned with with you know 
feeling good and and having a healthy uh you know body like it's like it's always summer like an always summer body you mm-hmm. know and and so, you know I, you know drink to that yeah you know like i'll, I'll i'm taking <coughs> taking a <laughs> taking some time to to like really be my healthiest self and um so uh i i've uh I'm happy to say that I've I'm, uh, been uh, six months now um, living clean and living healthy with the aid of a, of a very special organization. And uh, is it all right if I if I plug it today? Um, yeah, actually, feel free. Feel free. You know, I mean, I, I just well. So uh, the uh, Golden Life Spring Club is um, a really wonderful uh, nonprofit organization, and. Um, you know, basically, uh, what we're into is, is, um, you know, finding the natural medicines that are available, um, all the time, whenever you need them, um, and, and using those medicines, not, none of this pharmaceutical bullshit, okay, I mean, sorry for, for, you know, pardon my, uh, Swahili there, but <clears throat> none of this pharmaceutical bullshit. You know, uh, what we want uh, is to be able to just heal ourselves and refresh ourselves and do the best things for our organs um, that we can without resorting to this corporate structure of, you know, uh, fentanyl and, you know, God knows what else, you know. I mean, I've had, I've, I'm, I feel the best I've ever felt. My skin looks like I looks like I'm like 19 years old again. Um, you know, I get up every morning. I do my stretches. I uh, I <clears throat> I do my yoga, and I feel great. You know, uh, all thanks to the uh, the Golden uh, Life Spring Club. So the Golden Life Spring Club, they were on Dateline recently, right? There yeah. Was, there was a there was a whole expose and they had to you know the the dea and the battering rams is that was that am i thinking of a a different golden spring club um um well great thank you uh thank you so much for uh sharing you know your new project I, i know we're all excited to see it come out um, and see where it goes from there. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for, for speaking about your project. Right now, we... Um, well, yeah. I just want to, if I could, uh, real quick, say that, um, you know, if if you um, are, you know, are able to get, um, uh, you know, you become a member of the Golden Life Spring Club um, and you're able to get 24 people to join in a year with a year, a 12-month membership... Uh, as opposed to a six month membership, then the the cost is going to go down from sixty four ninety nine to uh, forty uh, four ninety nine a month, and and uh, you will even get a free trip to a Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe. Ladies, gentlemen, MBs, thank you so much for joining us. We're here talking to Xavier McIves about their upcoming... Oh. Hello? Yeah. <clears throat> well, what time is it going to get there? Oh, no, no, it's fine. I, I've got a minute. 
Yeah, yeah, no, she's uh, she's bringing the um, the the dump truck. Yeah, no, it's it's all electric. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, what? Yeah, around around six. Um. Yeah, sure, I can bring it. Did you want? Did you want the Robitussin or did you want the the? Uh, did you want the Dustin? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'll. I look. I gotta. I gotta get going. I'm kind of um. Kind of caught up right now, but um. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I know. Me too. I'm really. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Six. Hey, can, can you tell her to check the Google Drive? Just, just you know, like I set, I set an update for next weekend on Google Drive. So. Got it. Got it. Um. Yeah. Xavier wants wants to know if you can check the um the Google Drive. Yeah. Yeah. It's the um. Yeah. It's it's the one with the cannibalism. Not. It's it's the one with the cannibalism. That's just. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be there. Um, there, yeah, you too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I have to go. 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 Okay. You too. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Um, <laughs> Business yeah. can't wait. You know, it's a, we live in a twenty-four hour news cycle. <laughs> um, <sighs> so, moving forward. Um, um, so, it's twenty twenty. You know, we made it. Woo! Um, woo! Feels good, brother. Um, so. Who are you planning on voting for in the in the next twenty twenty presidential cycle? Mitt Romney. A man, a man who truly, truly understands and, and respects our values here at Tub Talk and in the the global bathtub community. We really want someone who can, you know, get up there and. You know um, those those Mormons. They they uh, they they get baptized for the dearly departed. You know. Sometimes hundreds of times in a session, you know, and to me, that's you know, that's such such a th- something we should really, you know, be be hoping we can achieve in the twenty twenty decade, we, and hoping you can achieve, you know, uh, uh, interviewing people by the hundreds in in bath subs all across I, the world. I see, like a uh, multiple baptism, multiple orgasm kind of phenomenon but yeah. with, with spirituality and 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 sexiness and you know um you know coming out of the of the, of the turtle shell of, of oppression um i love it love it we can we're gonna keep that we're gonna keep that um so moving on you were born in a haunted house yes or no It was not haunted when I was born there. Uh, it it had been exorcised, um, but the thing was that it, the exorcism was happening right as my mom was giving birth. Mm-hmm. And, Classic. And so, you know, I think they said it was like maybe by the seconds, maybe by the milliseconds, the spirit had left the house and then I was born. So, you know, so... People always ask me, oh, you know, oh, you're the haunted house and, you know, do you, you know, can you see the spirit world? No, I can't. Okay. You know, I, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's over and it's done with, you know, it was over and done with before I was born. You see. know, I mean, maybe when I was, you know, uh, <laughs> still in the uterus, you know, there may have been some spooky stuff happening, but but my mom's my mom's vagina wasn't haunted, you know, so, so why you know. Now, I used to work on haunted houses, uh, for a living actually. Like construction work, uh, HVAC. Yeah, a little bit of everything. You know, I I was, um, 
sometimes they would have me play the, um, like the girl from the grudge, oh. you know, except that I wasn't, uh, allowed to, sl- uh, to sleep or, um, wear clothes. Um, 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 what was the question again? Um, so all of our listeners are, are looking out here with their hungry, hungry peepers dying to know what's your favorite bird? Like all, all time, you know, you die and you go to heaven and God is that bird. Who is that bird to you? God, I miss that parrot. She was an African African gray parrot. And, um, you know, she was le- just learning how to talk. And, and um, you know, we bought her all these toys. And I thought she was comfortable. And then one day we leave, we leave the front door of the house open. And that was eight years ago now. So, yeah, a parrot. Of course, I think I think she's in there with in heaven with with, with all the other parents. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. No, it's. I want to thank you for being so vulnerable and 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 emotionally available. That's I know as an artist that can be that can be really hard. <clears throat> um, I I'm, I'm sorry to ask such pressing questions, but that is. You know, that is the nature of Tup Talk. We are, you know, we're in, uh, journalists first here. Um, so I, I really appreciate all of your, your vulnerability. Yeah, no, no bulls, no bulls. Right. You know, right. I, I respect that. Thank you so much for joining us here today. It's been such a pleasure talking to you. I, it's so heartwarming to see, you know, uh, true artists out there doing the good work. Um, no, no more pay, as we say. Namo. Namo pay. Nam. Um. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's it's hard for you know people who don't who don't know Hindi. Um. It's been so delightful catching up with you and hearing about what's going on in your world. Um. And you know we'll 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 blast out your social media and all of your content. So so folks are aware of what's going on. Yeah. Um. Thank you all for joining us here at Tub Talk. Please uh don't forget to tune in next week where we will be interviewing disgraced astronaut and astrophysicist Julia Volkov. So thank you all so much. Um. Okay, we're we're done. I just want to thank you, and and, and uh, the last thing. Wait, I, I just I, I just wanted to say I just wanted to say thank you, thank you to Ganapisan uh, B uh, uh, Maha Wizard Twinkle because you know you, you changed my life.